terrific property there in Adelaide and great to have Brownie back with us. He headed off for a little bit of a holiday and came back and he's right into it now. Uh, so good to see you back Brownie and hopefully those of you that are circulating the inspections catch up with him and welcome you back as well. Now um, we are here today with one of these um, royalties in banking circles, the head of the, of the uh, uh, regional uh, manager for the Commonwealth Bank, but Adri Adrian Smith, welcome back. Thank you. Now Adrian, I just thought earlier we probably should let everyone know, because all the banks have different structures, yes. what, what is actually, what do you actually do when you're not here on Tube TV? Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I run the retail bank, so I have um, 75 branches throughout South Australia, Northern Territory, now a little bit of Victoria, because I've got, right? I've got the Mildura, Mildura branches and also Broken Hill in New South Wales. So. Take so, over the country. So you, run, you basically run all those 75 branches? Yes. yes. How many people would that involve? Oh, the, um, in terms of what we call head count, it's uh, just under 1,000. Um, so yeah, we're fantastic staff. And fantastic. you enjoying it? Oh, I love it. I, I, I love, and obviously being new to this country, I love getting around the country. Um, the drive up to Mordriba recently was just fantastic and I was down in Mount Gambia about two weeks ago. Is there anything people should notice? Because you're obviously here doing something, yeah. like you were brought into South Australia yeah. to obviously make some changes. Oh, well, look, I, I, I would hope that they would see an improvement in customer service. We get, um, as you can imagine, being a large organisation, we get surveyed for everything. And in terms of being surveyed recently, we had our record um, two weeks ago for customer service. Um, in fact, we think it's a record for Australia. So I, I would hope that's what people are seeing. I, I would hope that they're, they're having conversations with my staff, which um, means that they're getting um, exactly what they need. They're not getting flogged any product. Okay. Um, and yeah. and that, you know, they're, they're in front of someone who's intelligent about their financial services. And that's, so the survey people aren't Commonwealth Bank surveying themselves? No, no, absolutely not. No, they're all <laughs> okay. external. Roy Morgan. All right, now I've got a question that's come in. Um, it's an email from Dana Javis, uh, Jarvis. Um, what are the different types of home loans available these days and what's the best one to get? Yeah, difficult question. There are a truckload of different loans available and one of the things I always suggest to people, particularly if they're getting involved in investment properties, is have a good accountant because the accountant will also be able to assist you on what type of loans. But you know, you, you can have a, a loan which has got fixed rates, floating rates, paying interest, and paying interest in principle. So there, it's not a matter of what's best, it's a matter of um, seeing a specialist, um, having a chat to your accountant, and working out what sort of loan do you need for the for for what your the purpose of what you're wanting. Okay, you know, so for. someone's watching the show, mm. and they say, right, I think I would like to buy a house. Yes. What would you tell them to do if that was your son? What would you say? First, do this. Second, third. What yes. What are those steps? I would I would suggest that they go down to their bank tomorrow, and have a chat with either the branch manager or the personal lender, and and make sure they fully understand exactly what's available to them because there are there are loans where you know you pay a monthly fee there are loans which are packaged up with all the insurances um, so they, they get a discount on loan protection insurance a discount on house and contents insurance so there's a, a gambit of what what they want but I'd say get in front of a specialist and one final question if that person who knew nothing about buying a house nothing about loan they walk into the bank they don't want to feel like an idiot mm. will, will they step you through and say look it's not quite time yet Johnny or what will they say? Absolutely because some people come in and, and they might not have a big enough deposit yet and they might have their savings even in, a, in, a, in an account which is even earning them a great deal of money. So it's not, a, not just a matter of, of the loan, it's also a matter of helping them build up the deposit. Right, so people should not feel embarrassed of walking into a Absolutely bank not. and go I want to buy a house or I want to do this or that and then they presumably would take under their arm Absolutely, yep. because like you corrected me before, we have a lot of jargon and even when you jump onto an internet site sometimes and see comparisons of different organisations, it's all jargon. And that sometimes is really difficult to understand. It's all very well having the internet at your fingertips, but what does it all mean? So sometimes it's easy just to get in front of somebody and say, this is what I'm thinking of doing, can you help me? Adrian, it's been great, thanks for coming in. Oh lovely, thank you, thank you for having me on the programme again. Okay, now let's go and look at some hot properties.
Well, that's the end of the show. I hope you loved it. And that Mount Compass property, what a ripper. Now, next week, SA's finest, we're off to Sky, and you'll love that one as well. And don't forget, on Wednesday at 1 o'clock, we're live, we're interactive, so see you next week. But in the meantime, let's go and look at some hot property.